In this video, I'll go over Work Together 16-2, which is about preparing a statement of stockholders' equity. And this is uh, from our Century 21 Accounting Textbook by Gilbertson, Lehman, and Gentine, edition 10E. So all credit given to them for this problem and uh, the text that it comes from. So the first thing we're going to do is I've opened the instructions um, tab on one page or one side of my screen and then same workbook but different tab the statement of stockholders equity so we'll start here with the heading and the name of our corporation is superior corporation so we put the name on the top line and then statement of stockholders equity and then on the next line it is a for the year ended december 31st of whatever year you're working on this. All right, so first part is for capital stock. So you type in capital stock, and then indent a little bit, and we need to write the par value. So our problem down here tells us 8,000 shares of capital stock with a par value of $10. So we'll type in par, no, 10, dollars par value and then the beginning amount January 1 20 whatever year the amount of shares and in this case there were 8,000 shares issued according to our problem and those 8,000 shares times the par value of ten dollars is eighty thousand of course format that as dollars now we need to add issued during the current year 250 shares So now we just take the 250 shares issued this year times $10 par value, and we get $2,500 issued this year. So now we'll indented, put in balance as of December 31st, 20 every year. You write the total number of shares, so the 8,000 plus 250, so 8,000. 250 shares and you just add them together and we should put a bold line underneath the 2500 to signify that we're adding oh, I should have put this one here sorry that one should come the balance should come all the way over Okay, now we'll do the retained earnings section. First, what was our balance as of January 1st? And to find that, we would switch back over to, I guess we can look over here. Let's look at our Trial balance for retained earnings, 15,283.40. So we'll just copy that number and we'll bring it over to the middle column. Beginning balance, and now we'll do our net income after federal income tax for that year. And we would get that from our income statement that we just did in 16.1. And if we scroll down, net income after federal income tax, and over just a little bit, it was right here at the bottom. So we'll copy that number, and we'll paste it over into the first column. Whoop. That was a formula. We will paste the value. Still didn't work. Hmm. 73, 148, 80. And 
formatted as money. We need to subtract dividends. Declared during the year. And let's see if our problem has anything to tell us about dividends. So the dividends number that we'd be looking for, we find back on our trial balance. We have 12,000 is the current amount there. So we'll go ahead and put the 12,000 over here in our statement of stockholders equity. And then we'll do a bold line to signify that we'll be subtracting. And what we'll get is a net increase during the year. of 73 minus the 12,000 of dividends leaves us with 61,148.80. And then we'll go ahead and put a line there because we are going to get our balance on December 31st of the year and that will be adding these two amounts together 15 15 plus the 61 leaves us with 76 432.20 and for the balance as of December 31st, we will underline that one. And then we'll get our total stockholders equity December 31st of whatever the year is by just adding up our balance um, for capital stock with the balance for retained earnings. 158,932.20 should be what you get. And then you would, um, for the three amount columns, double underline them, which just doesn't show up that way on the spreadsheet, but it would be a double underline. And that is it for your statement of stockholders' equity.